The current electric motorcycle market has no shortage of models to take on the 125cc class. However, if you're looking for more power and an alternative to 250cc bikes, then you ought to check these bikes. Let's get technical. Ultraviolet X47 Although it's the first adventure-oriented motorcycle by the brand, Ultraviolet execs don't want to limit it to just gravel roads and dirt trails. As per their official statements, it will make a great commuter vehicle for both urban and rural parts of India. With a confident stance, three standard color schemes, and a high ground clearance of almost 8 inches, the X47 is sure to find its target audience. The powertrain utilizes a 29.3 kilowatt electric motor, enabling a 90 mile per hour top speed. The installed 10.3 kilowatt hour battery pack will bring upwards of 200 miles of autonomy. Besides being tough in multi terrain environments, the bike is large on high tech components namely a duo of 5-inch information displays, front and rear safety cameras with part assist, blind spot monitoring, and much more. Nguyen Moto N1S a young Vietnamese company has put months of dedication and hard work into producing the first domestically made electric motorcycle. This bike is inspired by urban scramblers and has a modern minimalist design and dark angular bodywork. Underneath it, there's a lightweight aluminum frame housing an 8 kilowatt hour pack, a built-in charger, and a 24 kilowatt e-motor with a mid-drive layout. The bike has a mid-range size, a seat height of 31.5 inches, and 6.8 inches of ground clearance. The N1S motorcycle could be outfitted with Brembo brakes, a full suspension featuring an Olean's fork, a rear damper, and such electronic aids as cruise control, ABS, regenerative braking, and three riding performance modes with a reverse mode. The powertrain can generate a maximum torque of 140 pound-feet, reach a maximum speed of 80 miles per hour, and travel up to 125 miles on a charge. Oper in City Oper Motorcycles is an electric motorcycle startup from Brazil that has taken on a mission of creating an urban commuting vehicle that will be both affordable and high-tech. The company is currently running performance tests at the racetracks and is targeting such technical specifications. A 48-kilowatt motor with an 88.5 pound-feet torque figure and either a 6 or a 9-kilowatt-hour battery. With such components, a 0-60 to mph sprint takes 4.2 seconds and the top speed is 90 miles per hour. The range is either 60 or 100 miles depending on the chosen battery. Among the already announced features, we would like to point out a handy storage compartment that could hold up to 37 liters of cargo, an advanced vehicle control unit that manages all security and safety features, an advanced permanent magnet-free electric motor developed by the company's strategic partner called Enadyme, and a series of components that will ensure rider safety and awareness on the road namely an ABS system and traction control, plus a unique haptic seat and a smart lighting technology. The brand's inclination to use the latest technology is further complemented by the use of an intelligent instrument cluster that will display essential performance metrics and let you track vital information in real time. Matter Aera Although the idea of developing a gearbox for an electric motorcycle has been floating around for some time now, only a handful of manufacturers have managed to successfully implement it. Among the early adopters is India's Matter Motorcycle. The urban commuter is positioned as a zero-emissions alternative to the 200cc bikes. Based on the dual cradle frame, the Aera has a 31-inch seat height and a 370-pound weight. Suspended by telescopic form and a tubular swing arm, the bike offers 7.2 inches of ground clearance. Its mid-mounted IPMSM motor is hooked up to a 4-speed hypershift manual transmission that handles 11.5 kilowatts of peak output. From a fully charged 5-kilowatt battery pack, 
you can expect upwards of 77 miles of real-world range. Finally, the bike boasts a rich set of tech features, namely a 7-inch smart touchscreen and a control app that supports hands-free calling, smart navigation, and real-time performance tracking. Reason Motorcycles Reason Motorcycles is a brand new European e-bike manufacturer from the Czech Republic. Their upcoming product is a long-range full-size electric motorcycle with a competitive price. With one of the biggest battery packs in its class, the Bohemia can cover up to 160 miles on a charge while having 86 mile per hour speed capabilities. Besides offering highway speeds, the 11 kilowatt motor with a 20 kilowatt peak capability will need just six seconds to reach 60 miles per hour from a standstill. Once the 15.3 kilowatt battery is depleted, only 150 minutes are needed to get back on the road, owing to the support of high-speed 6.6 kilowatt CCS technology. A good set of motorcycling parts makes Bohemia a desirable option for people looking for a sustainable means of urban transportation and a proper alternative to the 125cc class. You are getting dual four-piston Nissan brakes in the front and two-piston brakes in the rear, 17-inch wheels with Michelin tires, a 5-inch main display, a secondary 4.3-inch display, and ABS as a standard feature. Insorc EM77. Asian companies are ramping up their electrification capabilities, and the latest Milan Motor Show was a perfect display of their ambitions. The EM77 is an upcoming cafe racer bike with 125cc like performance and the support of level 2 charging that significantly lowered the recharging times. With a peak charging speed of 3.3 kilowatts, the bike could top up to a 144 volt, 73 amp hour battery in about 3 hours. This battery is hooked up to a liquid-cooled mid-mounted motor with a belt drive. With an output rated at 10.5 kilowatts, this motor can bring 89 mile per hour speeds. The initial acceleration to 30 miles per hour comes in 2.8 seconds, while the overall riding range is estimated at 120 miles. The manufacturer tested this range figure at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Rapti HVT30. Not chasing after the fastest acceleration time, the longest battery range, or unseen before tech features. India's new EV startup is dreaming of an electric motorcycle for the masses. With a modern design characterized by sharp edges and bright colors, the T30 looks fresher than most 200cc gas bikes that it's tasked with replacing. Its EV powertrain is juiced by a 5 kilowatt hour battery ensuring a 22 kilowatt peak output and a limited top speed of 84 miles per hour. Despite being highway worthy, the T30 lasts only about 90 miles on a charge. However, the support of CCS2 fast charging, digital connectivity through a 7-inch control display, and a relatively affordable price makes this model attractive both in the Indian and international arenas. Black Tea Wildfire The upcoming Wildfire by the German EV maker is an electric scrambler for the A1 driving license holders. It's based on a newly developed cyber frame that uses sheet metal and rivets to make a durable weld-free skeleton. The powertrain standard configuration includes an 8-kilowatt motor with a 10-kilowatt peak capabilities, while the performance one puts to use an 11-kilowatt motor with 20 kilowatts of peak output and 206 pound-feet of torque. Besides picking between two available motor units, you would also be able to choose between ABS and CBS braking systems, 
pick between one of the three charge options, and opt for one of the four available color schemes. Regardless of the chosen options, you'll be getting a removable 6 kWh battery with up to 80 miles of range autonomy, 70 mph top speed capabilities, a 5-liter built-in storage space, and pylon seating for two people, dual sport tires, LED lighting system, a hydraulic USD fork, and 350mm adjustable gas pressure shock absorbers. Several years ago, Savage Motorcycles, a promising Australian e-mobility startup, unveiled a pre-production prototype of a beautiful retro-inspired cafe racer bike. This project attracted the interest of the e-bike community and the investors who helped the company raise the required funding to develop an ambitious product roadmap. The mass production of the C-Series electric motorcycle is the endpoint of the roadmap. The C-Series bike will be offered in two power modifications, Alpha and Delta, with Alpha being the more powerful of the two. Depending on the chosen model, you will receive either a 40 or 60 kilowatt electric liquid-cooled motor. The Delta's 40 kilowatt motor will generate 103 pound-feet of torque and let you sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. The torque parameter for the Alpha's 60 kilowatt motor unit raises to 147 pound-feet, while the acceleration time is slashed to just 3.5 seconds. Alpha's powertrain will feature a 16.7 kilowatt-hour battery pack, good for 125 miles of riding. For the Delta, you're getting a slightly smaller 14.2 kilowatt-hour pack that offers an estimated range autonomy of 93 miles. Both models offer a fully adjustable Wilbur's telescopic fork, YSS rear shock, Brembo M4 brakes, ABS, traction control, regenerative braking, and a 7-inch digital display for reading the important technical indicators. Niu RQI The city-oriented A1 legal motorcycle is Niu's first try in the e-motorcycle segment since this brand is primarily known for making e-scooters. The electric heart of the RQI bike is represented by a 7.5 kW mid-mounted motor with a chain drive. The powertrain will bring you to speeds of 31 mph in 2.9 seconds and top out at a speed of 68 mph. Niu RQI draws power from two 72-volt, 36-amp-hour battery packs that are rated for 125 miles of riding. The batteries are removable and are placed vertically in the so-called fuel tank area and take seven hours to be recharged from a domestic power outlet. The two battery units account for 105 pounds of the bike's overall 410-pound curb weight. RQI received a decent set of motorcycling parts, namely an inverted suspension fork, a front brake caliper with radial mounting, dual-channel ABS, and Pirelli tires. As for the high-tech components, you can count on full LED lighting, a TFT dash that is used to activate launch and cruise control systems. Switch between different power modes and display output from front and rear security cameras. Speaking of safety and security, the bike is also equipped with a keyless ignition, GPS tracking, and a steering lock. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.